And he entered again into the synagogue. And there was a man there which had a withered hand. And they watched him whether he would heal him on the Sabbath day, that they might accuse him. And he saith unto the man which had the withered hand, Stand forth. And he that or saith unto them, Is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath days, or to do evil, to save a life, or to kill? But they held, held their peace. And when he had looked round about on them with anger, being grieved for the hardness of their hearts, he saith unto the man, Stretch forth thine hand. And he stretched it out, and his hand was restored, whole as the other. Now I'm going to ask you a question, something we do normally here, too, with the video camera going and stuff, but um, it says that he looked upon them with anger. Was Jesus wrong? Oh. Of course not. But is there a Bible verse that would back that up, that would, you know? We had to learn this verse because it's real easy. Of course, I don't know if it's the whole verse, and I don't know where it is, which is all the more reason why we should learn it. It says, Be angry and sin not. But, you know, in the versions of the Bible, you know, it, there is a thing where it says, it says that if a man be angry, um, and in the King James Bible, which is God's word, of course, it says, without a cause. If a man be angry without a cause, you know that it's wrong. I don't remember how that verse exactly goes, but they, in the versions, leave out without a cause. So, if that was true, it would lead you to believe that Jesus was wrong, which can't be. So, the versions are wrong. Um... I lost where I was. <clears throat> Verse 5 again. And when he had looked around about on them with anger, being grieved for the hardness of their hearts, he saith unto the man, Stretch forth thine hand. And he stretched it out, and his hand was restored whole as the other. And the Pharisees went forth and straightway took counsel with the Herodians against him, how they might destroy him. But Jesus withdrew himself with his disciples to the sea, and a great multitude from Galilee followed him, and from Judea, and from Jerusalem, and from Idumea, and from beyond Jordan, and they about Tyre and Sidon, a great multitude, when they had heard what great things he did, came unto him, and he spake to his disciples that a small ship should wait on him because of the multitude, lest they should throng him. For he had healed many, insomuch that they pressed upon him, for to touch him as many as had plagues, and unclean spirits, when they saw him, fell down before him, and cried, saying, Thou art the Son of God. And he straightly charged them, that they should not make him known. And he goeth up into a mountain, and calleth unto him whom he would. And they came unto him, and he ordained twelve, that they should be with him, and that he might send them forth to preach, and to have power to heal sicknesses, and to cast out devils. And Simon he surnamed Peter, and James the son of Zebedee, and John the brother of James, and he surnamed them Boanerges, which is the sons of uh, thunder. <laughs> and <laughs> Andrew and Philip and Bartholomew and Matthew and Thomas and James the son of Alphaeus and Thaddeus and Simon the Canaanite and Judas Iscariot, which also betrayed him. And they went into an house. And the multitude com cometh together again, so that they could not so much as eat bread. And when his friends heard of it, they went out to lay hold on him, for they said, He is beside himself. And the scribes which came down from Jerusalem said, He hath Beelzebub, and by the prince of the, the devils casteth he out devils. And he called on them unto him, and said unto them in parables, How can Satan cast out Satan? And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand, but hath an end. No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he will first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. Verily I say unto you, all sin shall be forgiven unto the sons of men, and blasphemies 
wherewith soever they shall blaspheme. But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Ghost hath never forgiveness, but is in danger of eternal damnation, because they said he hath an unclean spirit. There came then his brethren, and his mother, and his uh, standing without, said unto him, calling him, and the multitude sat about him, and they said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren without seek for thee. And he answered them, saying, Who is my mother or my brethren? And he looked round about them, which sat about him, and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren, for whosoever shall do the will of God, the same is my brother and my sister and my mother. What were you going to ask? Um, how do you stretch out your hand if it's withered? Like this. Well, I mean, if it's like this. Isn't it stretched flat? Like, I thought your hand was like this big. And then it would be like... Yeah, just when he was healed. I thought a withered hand would be like... Yeah, it was, but then he made it, made it fixed. Oh, it was like... Grew? Yeah.